Let's quickly see how to find the derivatives of sine and cosine using Euler's formula. Euler's relation tells us that the exponential of i times theta equals cosine theta plus i times sine theta. Now, if we take the derivative of both sides with respect to theta on the left side, we get i times the exponential of i theta. This is because the derivative of an exponential just brings down the derivative of the exponent as a multiplier. On the right side, we apply basic derivative rules. The derivative of cosine theta is unknown for now. And the derivative of i times sine theta is i times the derivative of sine theta. Now, since the exponential of i theta is equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta, we substitute that back into the left-hand side. Multiplying i with cosine theta plus i times sine theta gives us two terms first, i times cosine theta, and second, i squared times sine theta. But remember, i squared is negative 1. So the second term becomes minus sine theta. After expanding, we have negative sine theta plus i times cosine theta. Now, comparing both sides, the real parts must be equal, and the imaginary parts must also be equal. From the real part, we find that the derivative of cosine theta is negative sine theta. And from the imaginary part, we find that the derivative of sine theta is cosine theta. In the end, we have derived two beautiful results. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. And the derivative of sine is cosine. All of this, thanks to Euler's elegant formula.